Hey friends, welcome back to my channel on Feral's Mad World and this is Feral. So in all my videos, I have shown you in and around of Addis Ababa. I have shown you from small scale businesses to the places to visit when in Ethiopia. But in this vlog, we will be talking all about Ethiopia, how safe the country is and how tourism looks like when you are in Ethiopia. So most of the time people ask me, is it dangerous in Ethiopia? Well, I believe that if you are at wrong time, at wrong place, anything can be dangerous. Anywhere in the world it can be dangerous. And so, I suggest that when you are in Ethiopia, you have to be a little discreet about your valuables and not flaunt your things like your smartphones, your mobile, your airports and things. And you have to be vigilant and watch your back. Ethiopia is indeed beautiful and it's a place people may fall in love with and not many countries can impress people like how Ethiopia does. The country's breathtaking natural beauty, diverse culture, soulful people, delicious cuisine and endemic wildlife is perfect for the travelers looking for a different experience. And since we are talking about tourism, we will be talking to someone who has impacted tourism in Ethiopia tremendously. He is the most famous man of Ethiopia. He is Olympic and world champion. He has broke 27 world records and he is the greatest runner of all time. He is none other than Ato Haile Gebrselase. So let's welcome him. Liyu ye Memphis destan ye mea gona tzfo. Tafat rawi ye tao chinna ye bahal kawwane uch ba mi genyu ba chow ba tamar rupu kadam uch lai. Kenyagar unata nyasi tindia genyu nga bzo talen. Haile resort uch. Yaya village. Ka addi saaba ba kir birkat ከተፈጥሮ ተፈጥሮ ጋር የሚገናኙበት የመዝናኛ መንደር ያያ ቪሌጅ ሶ ጋይስ ፕሊዝ ዶንት ፎርጌት ቱ ላይክ ኤንድ ሰብስክራይብ ኤንድ ዶንት ፎርጌት ቱ ሂት ዘ ኖቲፊኬሽን ቤል ባተን ቢኮዝ ዌን ዩ ዱ ዳት ኢት ዊል ጌት ዩ ኖቲፋይድ अबाउट ኦል ማይ ቪዲዮስ Do it now. Thank you so much, Arthur Kelly, for coming to my show. And I really appreciate that you took out precious time for my channel. So let's not waste time and let's jump right into it. Thank you very much. In tourism sector, like how yeah. Egypt is famous for its pyramid and yeah, Kenya is famous for uh, its safari. So how do you think that Ethiopia has its own image? Can create its own image? Uh, thank you very much. Until now, as you know, we Ethiopians, what we believe, you know, Ethiopia is an uh, historical, uh, historically rich, you know, like 3,000 years old and blah, blah. When you go to the north, you, know, you can see, you know, the, those uh, monuments, I mean, uh, like um, uh, Aksum, Langala, and in the south, you know, indigenous uh, people and uh, the nature and so on. So. For me, tourism in Ethiopia is, is more than that. Those things what I mentioned to you is just one of them. But the most important part here in Ethiopia, as a tourist destination, as a place you know where you want to go is the weather <laughs> when i said the weather here in ethiopia anytime in the i mean in the year you can come and on like uh, rainy season dry season whatever here it's almost like uh, what you fix uh, air condition in the room and uh, when people travel to Ethiopia, especially in the center like here in Addis Ababa, you know, you and me, you know, we're sitting outside and uh, you get happy. It's, nice. it's burning? It's burning here? No, I don't no. think. That's you know, just uh, one of the tourism yeah. attractions. Of course, those things, what we have, what we used to use for the rest of the world, uh, was like, you know, the historical tool, uh, the 
each other in the south. And uh, uh, also in the east, uh, going, I mean, you know, like in the east, you can have uh, Haran, you can have uh, Bali Mountain. Uh, don't forget about you know, all those uh, uh, well, I know, uh, well, it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot. I don't know. Well, Ethiopia. Uh, what I, what I'm thinking, we, we didn't you know just uh, sell ourselves. Uh, the tourist, I mean, the tourist here is not as uh, as the things what we have. Uh, very limited. And uh, people they come and you know, like uh, for example you know, when they travel around Ethiopia you know, they're having you know a lot of problems to find to have a nice hotel or but now improve a lot. But before it was not like that and uh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> yes. So how do you compare Ethiopia's tourism from past to present? Uh, there is you not know, just a uh, kind of improvement, but uh, I don't see it's such a big thing here. As you know, it used to be uh, in thousands, still in thousands, but uh, maybe 10 years ago, not more than 100,000, but nowadays uh, maybe uh, close to a million. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure you know, the, uh, the status and how many tourists, tourists uh, uh, but, uh, don't forget that it is COVID-19, it's another thing. So the, for us, uh, if we think about to compete, uh, I mean, to think about the tourism, we have to think about uh, uh, a country like uh, Egypt, uh, Europe, and uh, other countries. Uh, compared to that one, you know, we are uh, well, really I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to compete ourselves uh, uh, before and now. Uh, that's not, that's not you know, just a good uh, uh, indication, or it's not a good way to compete. If there is any competition, uh, I have to put ourselves compared to others: Kenya, Tanzania, Egypt, and, uh, and so on. So. Ethiopia is good in its own way. Yeah, must be. Uh, one thing what I want to say for uh, people who want to travel uh, to Ethiopia, just let them enjoy the weather. Yes. I always believe that Ethiopia is famous for three W's. That is weather, whiskey, and the third one is wine. So you can enjoy the weather, as Mr. Haile says. <laughs> So, can you please tell the viewers what do you think about Ethiopia's hospitality and tourism business and where do you see Ethiopia in the next 10 years? Ah, well, the, uh, when we talk about the hospitality, we Ethiopians are not just uh, the Ethiopians, you know, you know, they, you know we Ethiopians, the way how we live, you know. For example, people, uh, when you go to this house or her house, they host you, you know, amazing. We couldn't build you know, that kind of uh, hospitality, that kind of uh, uh, thing to the hotel and uh, resort and uh, because they you know the Ethiopians always they put you know, themselves far where I don't want to you know, just I keep I wanna keep you know, my pride. Yeah, you know, they kind of what I'm saying and uh, that's why you know the hospitality is not it's not yet. But I don't we are, I mean, uh, every year, you know, a kind of improvement. Uh, and by uh, giving the kind of uh, training with the, I mean, with the people, I mean, for the uh, people who's giving, you know, this service, uh, I can see, you know, just a lot of improvement I'm telling you. Uh, myself, you know, I have a several hotels and resorts uh, around Ethiopia. Uh, the, I mean, the change is amazing. The next 10 years, this country, I think, you know what I want to tell you, not just the people who live you know, just around the world, believe or not, Ethiopia. Forget about you know their situation, what we have now. Well, already it's written in the Bible. Already. 
it's not you know, just a uh, kind of advertisement you know, just uh, highly of course highly always saying you know a positive uh, about his country uh, you know, always you know give us you know, just two years two three years it's going to be the most the most attractive and the most known country in the world they are going to be doing uh, this is I'm not a priest or I'm not a minister person who's already if you can see in the Bible uh, look at the you know, Bible like uh, uh, Isaac or whatever, whatever. This is uh, the last part of you know, just, uh, the Ethiopia, what you call it in America, in America, in America like Tanzai. Uh, uh, we are moving to that. Here in a uh, like few months after this, it's going to be kind of travel in this country, kind of travel. After a year and a uh, half maximum, it's going to be something. Maybe uh, in 30, 40 years time, Ethiopia is going to be well uh, easy. <laughs> So it I, is Mr. Hailey's determination and my determination that people should come to Ethiopia or visit Ethiopia. It's a beautiful country. Not only visit Ethiopia, invest in Ethiopia. Did you hear that? Yeah, visit, invest. <laughs> Try to come here and invest. You don't lose your money. Yes. I promise you. I promise you. If someone you not know, just lose his money after this, I will give him you know, just a guarantee. We are one of the uh, examples because my family is here from past 115 years and we are investors in Ethiopia. Thank you. So you are a good example. You are <laughs> not just a, our witness. Mr. Haile, you own hotels, resorts, gym, health clubs and also you have Hyundai Motor Agency. As a businessman, how will you encourage people to visit Ethiopia? For me, as I said to you, not only because of you know, what we have, this country is not you know, just a country for Ethiopians. It's a country for the whole world, as I told you. Plus, this country is blessed by God. Of course, people are dying. People have you know, just a lot of problems. Problem. For example, okay, some people are asking me, how they? Uh, we have seen you know, people are killing you know, just uh, there and there. You know, there's you know, a lot of problems. Uh, why do you live here? You know, why don't you? Move to you know, another country. You do what? Oh, well, uh, for example, uh, by going to America, Europe, uh, hey man, don't forget uh, in America and Europe, you know, people are uh, too. Oh, I mean, uh, in the middle of the uh, market, or in the middle of, I mean, inside the hotel, inside the school, shooting and killing. Uh, well, not a big deal. You know. <laughs> Is people are killing here in the, in the center? No. But there is a crazy people there. The crazy people as well here in Ethiopia. And uh, in the future, well, people live in this part. Do you think you know, people live in just with food? Yes, maybe yes, food is supporting. But hope. Oh. Yes. People hope cannot live really in just a minute without hope. But with the, without food, maybe uh, seven days, without water, three days, whatever. And uh, no matter what, no matter what, I'm very comfortable here. Doing more as we make, you know, just all those business. I'm expanding. Not only you know, seven hotels. Uh, four hotels are under construction. Wow. Four hotels. And uh, now I'm looking, you know, the six, the, the six and the uh, normal, by 2020, I mean 2025. 20, 20 hotels at least. Wow. So you are attracting tourists to Ethiopia? Must. Yes, it is required and this country has so much to give. So yes. full people, delicious cuisine and endemic wildlife, definitely. And with your efforts, I can see Ethiopia prospering. So Addis Ababa is growing with new construction, expanding parking lots and new hotels. What do you have to say on this? Amazing uh, when I look at this uh, here. It's beautiful. You know, this uh, construction uh, in 
Who was I don't know. Who has it not just to come strike for like Addis Ababa and Ethiopia? No, by the way, not only in Addis Ababa. The whole country. I don't know. I think, as I told you, people, everybody knows they know just the future of Ethiopia. And uh, for example, yesterday I was in Jinma. In the Jinma town, like uh, two years ago, I was, uh, when I was in Jinma, I was nothing. In two years, you don't believe it. This is a city. I came here 30 years ago, you know, I was 31, 32 years ago. It was nothing. I don't know how many buildings in the start of that time. Maybe you can count them. Not more than five or six. <laughs> I came here 14 years back and Addis Ababa was not like this before. And now I can see so much of construction. And this what you can see is the newly constructed uh, buildings. And it looks beautiful. So every country has niche for tourism, like medical tourism, entertainment and sports tourism. As an athlete, how would you encourage sports tourism and what is your vision on it? When you talk about uh, sports tourism, uh, especially uh, running, uh, you know this is uh, one of our, uh, what do you say, attraction of the tourism in our sport. Yes. By training here, uh, Addis Ababa is 2,500 meters of us. If you go to Toto, if you drive in you know, 3 to 20 minutes, Reach you know, 30,000 plus meters of us. If you run in training here or running here, you can run anytime what you what you want, like uh, a marathon, something like uh, Jokas or uh, Amata, wanted to run for three hours. They tried you know, many years by staying in Europe, by preparing in Europe, but they never succeeded. By coming here, one month training, one month training, they run in London, you know, under three minutes, under three hours, very easy. You see? Yes. Because it's it's a lack of oxygen here. Yes. Altitude. Altitude is high in Ethiopia. Yeah, Ethiopia is a running nation. If you look, you know, just uh, in the morning in Addis Ababa, how many athletes, how many youngsters, you know, you know, I home. remember in the morning at 5 o'clock uh, in the gym, it was crowded with people. Yeah. Yes, I remember those times before <laughs> COVID times when I used to hit my gym at 5 o'clock in the morning. So yes, people are very conscious about their health and they are uh, athletes and I think runners by birth. <laughs> so we should promote more athletes to come to Ethiopia and we can have sports tourism in Ethiopia. We don't need any promotion for uh, tourists, uh, I mean, running to the, I mean, uh, here, I thought that they won, and I say, you know, just um, in sport, I don't push them, you know, coming as a tourist uh, running, you know, of course, uh, we have to be careful, huh? uh, by doing, you know, by preparing here in Ethiopia, they beat, you know, our own athletes, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. For example, you know, Mufara, where he's training, here in Ethiopia. And uh, he beat the Ethiopian. Oh. Sometimes it's not great. <laughs> no, well, it's just it's a, a kind of joke. Yeah. Of course, you know, uh, people want to come here in training. Most work. And when I'm myself, they need to you know any any assistant, any any uh, advice. Uh, I'm 24 hours you know, a day. And then, you know, sometimes you know I do some training with some some people who comes in from America, Europe, Asia. Well, of course, uh, in sport, in sport, you know, you train together. If you want to win, of course, there is one winner. Try to win, try to beat them. <laughs> in training, you support, you help. Of course, we need them. We need, you know, we need your competitors. Without the competitors, you never be successful. Yes. Successful always comes in August inside the good competitors. Do you think uh, the Ethiopians are good enough without the Kenyans? Do you think the Kenyans are good enough without Ethiopians? We need each other. Yes. Because, you know, because of the training, because of they are very strong, we are also working hard, try to beat them. 
Thank you very much. Thank you for watching my vlog. Ciao!